she looked like she's on the devil side and not the heaven side. Can we just whisper to each other? In the room with a spotlight. Lights, camera, action, film it cause she's so tired. Outfit lit, gotta get my scene card. Rolling with the four friends, rated five stars. Confident, swagged out. She be holding it down, no doubt. Hustling on her own, and for that I call her grown and confident. What's happening, y'all? And we are gonna get into this video, y'all. Monday was the Mother Beeper Met Gala. And you know, I had to put my two cents in because I'm a bitch. So, we're gonna get into it, guys. We're gonna get into the best, the worst, the men, the women, the everything. We're gonna get into it, y'all. We're gonna get into it, y'all. So, the first person we're gonna get into is the lovely Riri. So she's bringing y'all. She's bringing it for y'all. She's bringing it. She's giving you thigh. She's giving you oversized. She's giving you cape on my head, altar on my head, everything. She's christening y'all. She's like, I'm gonna be the priest and I'm gonna christen y'all. With all of this drip, all of this sauce, all of this pearl, all of this jewel, all of this that, 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 that. She giving it to y'all. She saying don't play. She's like, I never play. She's showing y'all she thick and she with it. She got them thighs. She's showing y'all everything. Everything. She's bringing it for y'all. Guys. Guys. Now can we talk about... Can we talk about... The beautiful Jasmine Sanders. She looks like full on angel face. Full on. She's showing you the thought. You know what her dress reminds me of? A gold cloud. Like, I just want to jump on the bottom of her dress. It looks like a gold cloud. Like, full on gold cloud. That's what she's given. Jasmine Sanders, y'all, she's given me gold cloud. All in the business all of that all of everything jasmine sanders gold cloud that i just want to hop on and like <sighs> in the bottom of her dress like the bottom i just want to go <sighs> like imagine i'm like it's taking me up to heaven i love it love it love it love it love it now let's talk about let's get into kendall jenner i feel like she looks too basic way too basic for this type of thing, I mean, I guess it's off-white, but to be honest with you, I feel like I love Virgil. Virgil, the founder or whatever, creative director or whatever of Louis Vuitton and uh, off-white. He, they were dates, because uh, like how it works is like designers go with, um, they choose somebody, a celebrity, a model, whatever, and they go with them. I feel like Virgil upstaged her 100%. He looked... I love the all the, the off-white with like the little detailing right here. Beautiful. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. But Kendall, nah, no muy caliente. No muy caliente at all. I feel like he honestly upstaged her. Like to be honest with you guys, like I'm being 100. I'm being 100. He upstaged her so much. Now, let's talk about... Ruby Rose, well, well done, well done in the red. I think there was only like two people I can remember that came in red. It was Ruby Rose and it was Nicki Minaj. The both of them, the only comment I have to say about Nicki Minaj is, honey, you got to weigh your size. Oh, there was also uh, Cindy Crawford, but she looks bleh. And D.P. Capa, I can't pronounce her name. But her and Nikki, oh, and Scarlett Johansson, which is bleh. But Nikki, the people that I can remember that look in the red, Nicki Minaj and... Uh, Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose looks so beautiful. I love the tattoos, the, 
a nice fit, the little cross, beautiful. Nicki Minaj now, let's get into Nicki Minaj. Let's get into her. I feel like her boobs, her boobies are too big for the dress. She looked like she was let uh and uh and squished. That's how I feel like Nikki looked. She needed to get the top part taken out a little. Just a, just a tad bit. Don't mind my broken nail, y'all. But just a tad bit. She had to get that dress taken out by. Just a, just a little bit, you know. Now, Solange, honey. I did see she like posted, I think, like four or six looks. And she's like, which one should I wear, guys? And then she kind of quick deleted it. But Solange, honey. Solange. I see the theme, the big theme of this year's Met Gala was headpieces. Point blank period, headpieces. Head, uh, uh, head Point blank period. But Solange, honey, she was giving y'all style. She was giving y'all faha boots. She was giving you like this latex leather situation with like a headpiece and a do rag and a uh and a uh uh uh. uh, uh ooh. <laughs> ah, yes, Solange. Yes. She was giving y'all. The business. Now, Kylie and Travis Scott. I don't get heavenly angel theme. I get like if there was like a bondage theme ish. I get, I did see Alexander Wang post on Instagram that it's supposed to, her dress is supposed to replicate uh, a throne, a black throne. But I mean, if you get it from the bay, yeah. But I get like soldier, military, bondage theme. I don't get heavenly, godly, angel. I mean, I don't like her hair. I don't like it at all. Um, I don't know. There's not much really for me to say about her look. I mean, it's nice. The train is nice. The dress is, overall, the dress is a nice dress. I just don't like it for the Met Gala. I've always said that about the Kardashian. I want them to be like, they either go way too out like how Kim did a few years ago where she like looked like that gal when she was pregnant and she looked like that, the Lunette the Clown Couch and now this year Kim killed it though but we'll get into that but I don't like her I don't like Kylie's hair now Kim honey she's giving you contacts she's giving you makeup she's giving you boom I like it. It's you know what? Let me tell y'all, cause this is vintage Versace she's wearing. And Vince, well, vintage Versace is my favorite. So vintage Versace can never go wrong in my books. Cause I just love me some vintage Versace. You know, I ain't get if you know me, you know I ain't getting married unless I, I can afford down the hell of Versace to design my wedding dress. Yes, Versace is my favorite. Yes. So we can get in next who show this Shailene Woodley girl, she looks like a the Tin Man from, you know, she reminds me of the Tin Man from uh, The Wizard of Oz. That's what she looks like. She looks like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. That's what she reminds me of. <laughs> I mean, that's all I can pretty much say, the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Cardi B though, y'all. Cardi B! This is a situation where she came with Jeremy Scott and nobody didn't upstage, well, he didn't upstage her because she killed it. She killed uh, uh I mean, a lot of people are comparing her to Beyonce um, in terms of the whole pregnant thing. I mean, I get where they're coming from, but y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta understand. When you pregnant, you don't be wanna be wearing too much clothing. You don't be doing all of that because then you just look big. This big and pop down. Everything so big and long and pop down and you wanna look sexy, you wanna be like, yeah, I'm pregnant, but I'm a baby. But I'm a mother baby baby. That's what you wanna be like. Yeah, I'm pregnant, but I'm bad and so what? And that's what Cardi B said. Cardi B said, I'm bad. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. That's what Cardi B said. That's what Cardi B did. Cardi B killed it. That's what Cardi B set out to do and she killed it. She killed it. So that's pretty much my opinion. SZA. Uh, 
moment of silence i love scissor she she came and she said bam thigh in this bitch but those matching boots to match the corsets i loved you scissor i loved you loved you loved you loved you loved you scissor loved it loved it Ooh, my foot hurt i loved it scissor i loved it so much so now let's get into it now I have a few more ladies I want to talk about, and then we're going to get into the men's. Y'all, why does Selena Gomez look like she's pregnant? I mean, I'm not here to sh body shame nobody. I'm not here, but she, she just look, her belly just looks like she's pregnant. She's looking like she's wearing a nightgown. She looks like she's wearing a nightgown. Like, her, her hair just looks like she rolled out of bed. She looks like she's pregnant. She just looks like she shouldn't have been there. She looked like she shouldn't have been there. To be honest with you, she should have stayed a pretty little ass at home. Now, now Winnie, my little fellow Torontonian, you look like a white little angel. You look so precious and so beautiful and pretty. You giving us space, honey. Yes, with those angelic little curls. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting all oh, little angel. You go on, girl. You go on your first little little Met Gala, your Tommy Hill figure design dress. You go on, girl, with your bad little self. You go, girl. Eh, eh. Guys, can we talk about Cynthia Erivo? I don't know where she's from. But she looks like she missed the thing. She looks like she's on the devil side and not the heaven side. Can we just whisper? about you Cynthia Arrival. Arrival. However you spell it. Say your name. Joan Smalls. Can we have a little conversation right now? Why do you look like a New Year's Eve get up? You know you look she looks like I'm gonna see if I can find a picture and insert it here. She looks like you know on New Year's Eve, when you have the little thing on your head that says the year, like if it's 2018, that's just her thing on her head. It's like, like New Year's Eve. She, that's what Joan Smalls looks like. She looked like she missed it. She was trying to do the headpiece theme, but then she looks like New Year's Eve. Wrong event. Wrong, wrong event. And she looks, her dress looks basic. I mean, there's nothing to it. There's just long dragon. But she looks like she's at the wrong event. All in all, the wrong event. Wrong, wrong, wrong event. Completely wrong event. Two more people I'm gonna talk about for ladies and then we're done. So JLo, she looks beautiful. Nothing more, there's nothing really to say. Everybody knows JLo looks gorgeous. JLo killed it, Balmain. JLo in your Balmain. Yes, giving us body style, leg training all with jewels, diamonds, everything. Yes, J-Lo. Yes, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J-Lo, we know you killed it. There's nothing really much to say. You killed it. Everybody knows you killed it. Your mom knows you killed it. Your dad knows you killed it. Fashion bomb Claire Summers knows you killed it. Mr. Olivier, Olivier knows you killed it. Your kids know you killed it. Your daddy, A-Rod, hey, know you killed it. Girl, you killed it. You killed it. You killed it. Miss Katy Perry, last but not least, you girl are doing too much. You look like you're doing too much. I don't like the boots. I feel like you should have did that outfit with heels. I feel like the boots, because they're loose, they're not like, if the boots are like tight fitted, but like they're kind of baggy-ish on you. Girl, skinny girl problems. I got those problems. When the thigh high boots don't fit you thigh high, they feel you fit you baggy and loose and they don't fit, fit sexy. I got those problems. But the wings, the dress, the boots, I feel like it's too much. You should have did like a nice thinner, tight, tight, tight boot. Girl, you got money. You could have altered a pair of boots. Could have did something. But I feel like you should have did like a tight boot, 
or heels because right now the boots are not fitting right and everything just looking a little little too much looking a little little too much little little too much little little too much little, little. now for the boys y'all we gonna talk about the men's we gonna talk about it we already talked about Virgil. We knew he fly. Mr. off white Louis Vuitton himself. We knew he fly. We know he fly. So we ain't got to talk about it. <laughs> Mr. Two Trains came in that drip. That's also now fly. And he proposed to his lady. Yes, Two Trains. I thought all of a sudden they were married. So this is the fact that I saw them get proposed or engaged. I thought they were married the whole time. So. I mean, it's news. Great job, Mr. Two Chains. But now when you're talking about, I got a side hoe and a side bitch and I make her do this and that, I don't believe you. Because I know you're a loyal, loyal man. Unless y'all got an open relationship, I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you. But, Mr. Two Chains, I think he was, came as for Versace. You gotta represent for the hood on these carpets. You gotta represent for the hood on these carpets. You gotta represent for the hood on these carpets. You gotta. Yes, two chains. You did that. And the amigos, honey. The amigos. The three amigos. You know they gotta bring. They ratchet everywhere they go. They gotta bring jewels. They gotta bring print. They gotta bring over the top. And they did they dang. They did a job. They did they fine. Me goes. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yes, me goes. You did it. Mr. Fine ass Michael B. Jordan, you are next, honey. In your off white. Yes, he can be you cinch waist honey he's giving you snatch he's giving you i got nice teeth and i know i'm fine honey that's what mr michael b jody mrs eddie is giving you he fine he know he fine with his little cross pin right here yes sir yes 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 you fine you know you fine i ain't gotta tell you and you're off white you fine we know you fine we know <laughs> mr chadwick boseman you are giving up I'm at my first Met Gala. I think he's at his first Met Gala. I ain't playing. You giving us cape. You giving us crosses. You giving us brocade detail. You giving us all sort of detail with gold shoes. Yes, Mr. Chadwick Boseman. Yes, you better represent for them black people. Yes, you better represent for all the black heroes. All the black mans. All the fine black man. So you look cutie. You know you fine. You go on, mister. And he was wearing, what was he wearing? He was in this Versace. I could have figured out Versace with all them details. You don't leave Versace would do them things. Two more for the men and then we are done. Mr. Christian Combs. Too much happening. Too much with the crown, the jacket. The jacket looks like it's not fitting well. Just too much. We get your rich just too much next time stay home if you ain't get it can't get it go and get it go and get it stay home that's all we're asking is for you to stay home next time mr christian combs because you ain't getting it and mr last but not least what we need to talk about is jaden smith sir where are you going to this louis vuitton jacket you do not look like you follow anything you look like you're just trying to show up and rebel and and promote this album with his little plaque in his hand walking around with you look like you don't care about no Matt Yala you just trying to show off you just trying to do the most you just look like you just trying to do the most with this this plaque and this Louis Vuitton the jacket's nice the outfit's nice don't get me wrong but it's not Matt Gala worthy that's where the, the line is drawn it's not Matt Gala worthy it don't look like no Matt Gala it don't look like no Matt Gala it don't look like no Matt Gala it's not Matt Gala worthy but that it is, it is it, y'all, for my input on the Met Gala. I know I'm a little bit, I'm a few days late, but we gonna get it together. I just had to, you know, process everything, figure out who I like, who I didn't like, why I didn't like. So I wanna give y'all my honest opinion, right? So that is it, my opinion for the Met Gala. The good, the bad, the ugly, the men, the women. I told y'all all the tea. That's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And put on that bell so you guys can know when I post something.
But that's it, guys. Bye. Peace. One love and bubble gum. Bye. This grizz, yo, broom with a spot.